Welcome to Scholar Brick, where we lay to rest the bricks of the past and decide once and for all if they're worthy of their design or if they need to go into the bucket of necessary reassembly. Today's set is the 2152 Robo Raptor from the Robo Force theme. Robo Force was a subset of the Lego Space theme released in 1997. Robo Force was essentially a good guy force to replace the space police, which were being phased out at the time. Um, un unfortunately, Robo Force only created four sets, so this is this is a rather uh, rather rare theme if you think about it. Uh, they were good guys meant to battle basically the UFO theme that was basically evil aliens uh, using giant robots. Giant robots versus aliens. Cool. And this is a robot dinosaur, okay? So this is especially cool, or at least would have been. Um, it has... It, it, it looks cool, just standing there. But uh, when you get closer and actually look at it, um, it, it there's a nice use of black, gray, and green. Um, yellow pieces tend to stand out and look a little weird. There are a number of uh, tubes and uh, basically electronic parts on it that make it, you know, it looks, it looks like a robot. And at the same time, the shape is of a dinosaur, uh, a raptor to be to be, uh, correct, uh, arms, a little articulation, but not a whole lot, and also the legs, they move back and forth, like, like so, but, um, it wouldn't move very fast, like, it, it would, it sort of shuffles along, as opposed to, you know, being able to run, and the arms just move up and down, like, strange chicken wings. There are claws on the end, which, you know, dinosaur would use to actually kill anyth kill things, but these claws wouldn't be able to reach anything because they reside behind this neck part. And the head itself, you know, it looks great. It's got little laser cannons coming out of the mouth, but it sort of gets in the way of the, the arms being able to grab something and be able to actually be useful, so sort of two useless appendages. Kind of like a T-Rex, not like a raptor. Raptor was actually able to use its arms. It's got a, a flexible tail, which is probably the most flexible part on this. I don't know why they didn't try and apply that more to the arms. It's got a flexible tail, which, you know, could have a laser coming out of the back. It's got lots of spikes on it, so, you know, it sort of looks more like an armored an armored version of, of a dinosaur. Got these green antenna things coming out. I, I don't know what use that would actually be in a fight because this is basically an, an attack vehicle. Um, astronaut, basically RoboForce fighter. He has a transparent green helmet, which is awesome. And he's got lots of shiny gold uh, parts on him that says Robo. But the cop, like, the seat for the robot is right behind the gigantic head, so you would not be able to see anything sitting back there. You would not, like, even when the head turns, you'd still need to, like, look, like, you'd have to turn the robot to the side in order to see the direction you want to go, which probably would waste time in a fight, and, uh, probably get you killed. Like, it is, it is an open... This is an open area. So, again, like the 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 Spireus, the Spireus recon droid, um, like that is the area. Like you don't the um, any kind of uh, spaceship or airplane going overhead would probably have an easy shot, easy target at the one thing controlling this robot. So you know that's poor design on their on their part. Um, there's also little storage bins on the back side of the ankles. Um, this is an attack vehicle. I don't know why you'd want to put storage in the ankles. Um, so yeah. Uh, unique pieces. Not a whole lot. There are some eyeballs. And the use of this Robo logo everywhere. So, you know, it's a robot dinosaur. 
cool in concept, but when you actually try and make it, it doesn't perform as basically the attack vehicle you want it to. There should be more articulation in the legs, more articulation in the arms, maybe a smaller head so you can see over it. I mean, if they were going for something where you just attach laser cannons to the head, you can do that, but this head is way too big for the purposes uh, that it's trying to get across. So, Roboforce, I'm sorry, you're, you're a rare piece, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm gonna have to do it. You, there's just too many things wrong with your, your concept and your design, so 